Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Maris. How are you? I'm fine. You're good. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. What about your day? Was it tiring? So, so relaxing. How was your day, Morris? Mm -hmm. Very busy. It was very, very busy. Busy. Okay. Very good. So we also have Kenya. We also have Karen. Uh, well, Emerson is joining. Okay, guys, um, so we are going to start with today's class, and basically, we are going to start with today's agenda. We have different things that we are going to cover today. We have um, the warm up, then we are going to move to grammar, and today we are going to study adverbial time clauses and also SWOT right those are going to be the main topics for today we are going to have a listening quiz grammar quiz and we have a speaking time as well at the end of um the grammar part so we're going to start with uh the warm-up and as a warm-up we have the following question um juan antonio can you please help us reading okay jimmy's mother had four children children. She named the first Monday, she named the second Thursday, and she named the third Wednesday. What is the name of the fourth child? Yes. So this one is a brain teaser. Okay. So um, Jimmy's mother had four children. She named the first Monday, she named the second Tuesday, and she named the third Wednesday. What is the name of the fourth child, guys? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yes, think about that, okay? Maybe. Yes. Maybe Thursday. Maybe Thursday. Okay. Somebody else? Mm hmm listen to 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 um to all of the reading jimmy's mother had four children she named the first monday she named the second tuesday and she named the third wednesday what is the name of the fourth child mm -hmm. following the logic of the names of the previous name, the mm -hmm. form, is Thursday, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So in this case, not exactly, guys, because, okay. So it says, Jimmy's mother. So here we have ah, the first one. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, so Jimmy, okay. Yes. Jimmy is yes. the name of the first Okay. Ah, All right. Very good, okay? Yes. Okay, the second one. We have one more, okay? Listen to this one. A farmer has 17 sheep and all but nine die. How many are left? Mm -hmm. Think about it. A farmer has... 17 sheep and all but nine die. How many are left? Nine. Okay. Yes, nine, because we have a farmer has 17 sheep, right? Okay. And all but, but nine but, hello. Mm -hmm. Yes. Las únicas que quedaron fueron nine. Uh -huh. Porque aquí está this conjunction, but nine die. 
how many are left, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. So those are brain teasers in uh, English, right? Son como problemas lógicos, but in English, okay? Very good. So now let's start with the main uh, information that we need to cover. Okay, so remember that yesterday we covered part of the adverb clauses. So today we are going to continue with that topic. Okay, so let's see. Maurice, can you please help us reading the information that we have right here? Yes. Yes. Adverb clause of purpose. Yes. These are very, very close. Answer the question why? So that we need a mic microphone. Very good. So that so that people in the back can hear us. Can hear us. In yeah. order that PA based vegetable vegetable mm -hmm. in order that he could stay healthy. Healthy. Thank you, Maurice. Okay, guys. So those are our adverb clauses of purpose, right? So they indicate a purpose. Yeah. So we have two. So that and in order that. So that is like saying um para que, de manera que, right? In order that is almost the same para, and we have a reason because it answers the question why. We need a microphone so that people in the back can hear us, all right? So, necesitamos un micrófono para que las personas de atrás nos puedan escuchar. Purpose. Why do you need that microphone, right? So that people in the back can hear us. Yes? In order that he ate vegetables, in order that he could stay healthy. Uh -huh. So he ate vegetables. Él uh -huh, comía vegetales, verduras, para uh -huh, mantenerse saludable. Mantenerse saludable, ¿ok? We need to interpret. Very good, ¿ok? Or we can say de esta manera, in order that, right? De esta manera, él eh, pod podía estar saludable, okay? So that, in order that, yeah? Then we also have the last ones, all right? Adverb clauses of comparison. So we have the most common one that you know already, which is then, right? So whenever we have comparative adjectives, we use then. So Crystal was prettier than her sister. And we also have as and as that we use this type of comparison. Who can tell me when do we use this type of comparison? As and as. And the example is, Tom is not as old as you, is he? So we use as and as whenever we have um, a comparison, but we have things that are equal or things that are not equal. Yes, whenever we have comparative as well. I'm pretty sure that some of you remember this topic because we did cover that in the previous module, okay? As and as, right? So Tom's not as old, as you. Y aquí estamos diciendo, Tom no es tan mayor como tú. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, let's start with the main topic for today. Because this is the main topic that we need to cover. Okay. So, what are reduced adverb clauses and how do they work okay guys pay attention because this topic is kind of interesting okay so first of all what are reduced clauses do i have some volunteer to read who wants to read 
Okay? Mark. Yes. Reduce adverb clause refers to the shortening, shortening of an adverb clause to an adverbial phrase of time. Causality or opposition. Adverb clause may be reduced only if the subject of Bob depends. The adverb clause. And independent clause are the same. Here are the title, description, and instruction on how to reduce a state of a bear clause that has the same subject as the independent clause. Continue. Yes, please. Or Correct, reduce adverbial clause to the adverbial phrase. Mm -hmm. Because because she has a test neck whip, she is studying very hard. Okay. Having a test neck whip, she is studying very hard. Okay. Incorrect, reduce adverbial clause to adverbial phrase. Because she has a test new need next week mm -hmm. her mother is reviewing vocabulary with her okay having a test next week her mother is review re reviewing yes. vocabulary with her thank you uh, maris pronunciation of phrase okay phrase phrase, phrase. yeah okay. very good thank you okay guys so basically reduced Adverb clauses refer to the shortening of an adverb clause. I mean, to make it short, to make it small, right? Not that big. So in this case, we have adverbial phrase of time, a causality, or opposition. But the ones that we are going to cover are time. Yes? So adverb clauses may be reduced, and listen to this, adverb clauses may be reduced only if the subject of both uh, the dependent, the adverb clause and independent clause are the same. Yes, remember in this case, what is a clause? A clause is just a sentence. Yes, but the technical word is clause. Right. So here are detailed descriptions and instructions on how to reduce each type of adverb clause that has the same subject as the independent clause. OK, look at this. Because she has a test next week, she is starting very hard because. Right. So in this case, how can we reduce that information? How can we make it short? Okay. So what we do is that we add the ing and we remove the subject. Yes. And we leave just the verb. Mm -hmm. And now since we don't have the subject, right? So we need to add the ing. Mm, you are going to uh, tell me, teacher, is that a gerund? I could say that, yes, the ing, okay, at the beginning of the sentence. So having a test next week, she is studying very hard. So you don't need to add um, because, right? You don't need to add she because in the adverbial uh, clauses, what we do is that we try to make short the sentence, but we need to take into account something very important. And what is that? So the rule says that we can make um, the adverbial phrase short just if the sentences, both sentences, have the same subject. And with that, we mean the following. Let's check the incorrect reduced adverb clause 
because she has a test next week. Her mother is reviewing vocabulary with her. Do we have the same subject? No, because we have here she, and then the other sentence, her mother, is not the same subject as the first example. Because she has a test next week, she is. Both are the same subject. So we can make um, this sentence, okay, this adverbial clause short, just if we have the same subject. If you don't have the same subject, we cannot make it short. We cannot, okay? That is a rule that we need to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is the first thing, yeah? So now we also have the following information, okay? In this case, it says reducing adverb clauses of time. Yeah, adverb clauses of time. Uh, can you please help us reading this information, um, Atilio? This information. Reduce adverb clause of time. Adverb clause of time. Are uh, reduced in different ways depending on the time expression of usage. Here are the most common. Mm -hmm. Before, after, think, kept the time work, remove the subject, uh, change the birds to the herring for or ear use on now. A noun, okay? So this one is Jeron, okay? Jeron. Jeron. Yes. Okay, guys. The other clauses of time, the most common ones are before, after, and since. Those are the most common ones. Of course, we have many other ones, right? But the most common ones are before, after, and since. So basically, the, mm, the rules that we need to follow is that we need to keep the time word, yeah? Remove the subject, yes? And let's change the verb to the gerund form or use a noun, which is a gerund. Yes, that means ing, ing, yes? And we have this example. Look at this, okay? Before he bought the house, he did a lot of research. So we need, first of all, we need to identify if we can reduce this adverb plus. Okay, so let's check. Do we have the same subject? Yes. Yes. So that is the most important thing. Okay, so we can reduce this idea. How? Before buying the house, he did a lot of research. And this is simple past because this idea tells you that it's simple past, even though here you are using the gerund, right? But this is simple past. Huh? Because the idea is in past. Look at this, the second sentence, simple past. And we have the second one. Okay, the same thing. First of all, let's check if we have the same subject. We do have the same subject. So we may go ahead and proceed. After she had lunch, she went back to work. After having lunch, she went back to work. You see? So what we reduce is the first sentence. Mm -hmm. And we need to add coma, right? Yeah. Okay. Questions so far? Doubt so far? Teacher, I have one. Yes. When you say uh, that uh, the correct word to say um, the... Um, 
th this this phrase is clause, not sentence. Why? I, I don't understand what is the difference between clause and and sentence. It's not the same. Yes, they are the same. I mean, um, the technical word, as I mentioned before, is clause. But we need to say sentence, right? Because clause, I mean, that is a different topic and you are going to be confused, right? However, the book mentioned clause, right? So we need to um, actually mention that information. But in this case, is the same thing as a sentence. The same thing. Just clause is the technical word. Hmm. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, then in this case, um, we have those two examples. Okay, let me see, good evening. Okay, Nelly. So now, another thing that is very important, okay, is the following. Um, who wants to read the first information? Mm -hmm. Thank you, while and when. Okay. Can be used by the light, the leading, how much? The leading? The leading the subject and be bird. Mm -hmm. Yes, examples. Okay. While Why? was eating diner, I watched television. Mm -hmm. While eating diner and mm -hmm. watched television. When you are in Rome, do as the Romans do. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, this is very, very important. Okay. All right. So it says, when we have a sentence, okay, in this case, a clause, a sentence, with while and when... We can reduce this by deleting the subject B. Why? Because most of the time when we use while and when, we need to use the verb to be most of the time. Well, always. Yeah. We have while I was eating dinner, I watched television. So the rule says that we are going to remove the subject and the verb to be. Both things. Las dos cosas vamos a remover. The subject and the verb to be. Always. Oh. Yes, I, and we have. In the first example. Correct. The lead, While eating I, dinner. Uh -huh. And. I watch television. Only, only this, yes. Correct. Good evening, Wendy. Okay, so in this case, yes. I mean, but that is when we have the verb to be. So you don't forget, okay? Yeah, don't forget about that. And we have number three. When you are in Rome, you do as the Romans do. Okay, in this case, teacher, but there we don't have any type of verb. No, we don't have verb. But we can reduce that clause. How? Just remove the subject and the verb to be and leave the noun. Yeah? Leave the noun in Rome. And that's it. This is whenever we have verb to be. When in Rome, some strange. Yes, it sounds strange, but it's correct. When you are in Rome, when in Rome. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I know that it sounds kind of incorrect or weird, but it is correct. It sounds weird because we translate that that sentence That's in Spanish. Correct, exactly. Cuando estás en Roma, o pero en español otro sonaría como cuando en Roma. Correct. Uh -huh. Yes, and then we also have the following information. If there is no be or verb to be, verb, in this case, 
change the verb in the subordinating clause, all right, to its ing form. I mean, what we covered before, okay? Lo que expliqué al principio. When I open the door, when opening the door, ya no es, ya se elimina el sujeto y se pone siempre el gero. Porque aquí no hay verbo to be. So, what you do is, first of all, you identify if we have the same subject, and if we have the same subject, we can create um, the sentence in a short way, right? And then it says that sometimes we can delete when or while, but I, I won't recommend that, okay? Because maybe it is better to leave the, the adverb, when, while, yeah. What what is the most popular form to use? With the adverbs. With the adverbs. Okay. Yes. Yes. With the adverbs. Mm -hmm. So um okay. That's basically um, the most important information. Okay. And then we also have the information from the book. Yes, um, adverb clauses, okay, introduced by before, after, since, and while. It says that can be reduced to modifying adverb phrases. I mean, what we already mentioned before, right? So look at this. Adverb clause after we conduct a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or a stop with this project. Now the other phrase, first, first of all, all right, we need to look if we have the same subjects. Okay, we have the same subjects, so we can reduce. And we have, after conducting a SWOT analysis, we will know whether to go on or a stop with this project. You see? You remove the subject of the first sentence, and you add the ing. Yes, Tony. Teacher, what does SWOT means? Oh SWOT. yes, is um, an abbreviation or is... it's an abbreviation. We are going to cover that in a minute, but yes, it is an abbreviation for a strength, weakness. You know, in in, in Spanish is what we call foda. Foda. Okay. Yes. Okay. Fortalezas, oportunidades. Fortalezas, exactly. Okay. Yes. It's the same in English, right? It's strength, weakness, opportunities, and threats. Yeah? Yeah, we are going to cover that today. So, well, and we have the same information that we mentioned before. Um, can you please help us reading this information, Emerson? What do we need to do to reduce the adverb clause? Choose your reduce a adverb clause to a phrase. Do you know the follow? Yes. Eliminate the subject and the adverb clause. Yes. If the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate. If the clause has any other verb different from be, add ing. Perfect. Okay. So you see, it's the same thing that we already mentioned before. First of all, eliminate the subject in the adverb clause, okay? You remove we, eliminate the subject. If the clause has a form of the verb be, eliminate it, what we mentioned before, right? This, verb to be, okay? We eliminate the verb to be and the subject. We eliminate this part, okay? And um, it says the, oh, sorry. And it says, if the clause has any other verb different from be, add ing. Well, I mentioned before, right? If we you don't have verb to be, what you need to do is that you need to add the ing. That's it, right? And in this case, um, well, the reduction is only possible when the subjects of the adverb clause and the independent sentence, all right, are the same. 
what we mentioned before. If you have the same subject, so we can reduce. But if not, no, you cannot reduce. Yeah? Look at the example. Before we make a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. Okay, we have the same subject. Yes, we yes. and we. So let's reduce. Before making a decision, we still need to go over the opportunities and threats that could affect the company. So now let's look at 3A, 3B. Look at this. Before the new product project gets a green light, we still need to beat the threats from outside. The new product, we. Is they are not the same subject. Is it not the same? The new product, it, we. So no. So we cannot say before getting a green light, we still need to beat the threats from outside. That will be incorrect. Because we don't have the same subject. We need to have the same subject. Yes? Okay. Okay, it's kind of um, easy, right? If we follow the rules and we, if we keep in mind the rules, okay? Now, let me ask you something. Is this sentence correct or incorrect? And there is a misspelling, okay? But is this sentence correct or incorrect? This is incorrect because it's not the same subject. The first is me and the second is the frog. Excellent. So it is incorrect, right? Why? Because as you mentioned before, we have I, while I was walking home, a frog jumped out of the bushes, right? Or boost. Yes. If the, if the sentence was, while I was walking home, I jumped out of the bu bus shelves. Bushes. Yes, or I saw a frog jumping uh -huh. out of the bushes. Well, in that case, yes. Okay. You see? So, very good. It is incorrect because of that. Right? Very good. Okay. Do you have any other doubt? Somebody else has any doubt? I think that this, th this topic is easy when you are typing writing or, or 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 listening but talking is more difficult because your mind is not um in line to contract the the the, the sentences the clothes yes um I, I, mm -hmm. sorry sorry i don't understand that example Can this explain example? me again yeah Yes, okay, absolutely. So in this case, we have the example, this one, right? The first one. While okay. I was walking home, a frog jumped out of the bushes. So first of all, uh, let me ask you, uh, Luis Miguel, yes. um, you do not comprehend the idea or you do not comprehend the grammar part? Idea. The idea, okay. So, while I was walking home, right? Cuando yo estaba caminando hacia mm -hmm. mi casa, a frog, okay? ¿Qué sucedió? Una rana, rana saltó. De repente, de los salió. Uh -huh. Salió de los arbustos. Correcto. Yes. So, the idea here is that you were walking home, right? And suddenly, that frog appeared. Okay. That's the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have any other question? No, teacher. Okay. So now, yes. And just um, continuing with Tony's idea. This topic, when it comes to grammar and when it comes to um, writing emails is very necessary. But when you are speaking, of course, you are not thinking, oh, my God, I'm, I, I need to change this and that. No, right? But, but what is very important is the following. Uh, something that, that maybe is a tip 
okay, for you and maybe for you to, to um, I would say, to improve your speaking, okay? Okay, no tiene nada que ver con el tema, pero siempre y cuando usted tenga, y eso es bien importante que lo sepa, siempre y cuando usted tenga before and after, a pesar que no sea una eh, oración de adverbio, right, el verbo siempre va a ir en ing, no puede ir en otra manera. ¿Sí? Es como un tip para que, porque todo es relacionado, right? Entonces, si aquí no podemos utilizar, si aquí podemos utilizar before eh, con ing, en after con ing, es lo mismo con cualquier situación. ¿Ok? Para que usted no se le olvide. ¿Ok? Bye. Ok, so now. Um, Ok, guys, if you don't have any question, ok, if you don't have any question, so right now, let's work as a team. So we have six sentences, yeah? First of all, you need to identify if you can reduce it. And if you cannot reduce them, so you are going to just add cannot reduce, ok? Yeah. Once you finish with this, we are going to move to this because those are the ones from the book that we need to complete as well. Yeah, the same thing. You are going to read the sentence and you are going to decide if you can reduce it and if you cannot reduce that adverb clause, right? So you are going to add cannot reduce in parentheses. Yeah, so those two. So we have um, around 12 sentences for you to practice grammar. Yeah? Do you have any questions? Something that is not clear? No? Okay. So let's work. Um, let's work uh, on teams. All right. So I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms. If you cannot participate on this activity because you are driving or probably you cannot participate. So please stay in the main room. And if you are able to participate, let's move, okay? Um, you can share your screen. I already give you the permission here, all right? So you can go ahead and share it if you want. Okay. I'm driving teacher. Yes, don't worry. Thank you. But if you want, you can join um one of the rooms for you to listen to the to their ideas. Um, just let me know, okay, if you want to join. Okay. Where is the first one? Somebody uh, can show Why? Yeah, yeah, reduce while yeah. playing a game on my phone. I walk into the wall, eliminate, disappear, I, and was. Perfect. Okay, while I was playing a game on my phone, I walk in, mm -hmm. into the world. Okay. Mm. We remove I was. Correct. Very good. You need to remove mm. I was. In the in second sentence, mm -hmm. uh, my uh, is the uh, my 
my is um, person. Hmm? In different is she. My. Okay. She's Okay. My, my, she, así. Okay. Bye, ahora. My vamos, chief. Sorry, vamos a ver. Chief. Don't worry. Bye. Number two. My sister does exercises sorry. to warm up before she plays any soccer game. Okay. Bye. ¿Qué veo diferente en la número dos? Ah, que empieza con, perdón. My sister does. Muy bien. Uh, ajá. Ajá, no hay... you know... ajá. Ajá. Y en la otra, mira, aquí tenemos before. Before she's placed. Correct. Entonces, ¿cuál es la oración que debemos de modificar? Mm. Before she plays. En el soccer game. ¿Y cómo en sería el... entonces? Um, sería my my before she plays no. no if possible if espérame uh -huh. que no la miro ah ya la entendí I'm sorry entonces oh. fíjate bien con esto ok le voy a explicar la número dos, ¿se puede reducir o no se puede reducir? What do you think? Yes, teacher. Sí, se puede. Yes. But, pero, but, on this one, pero en esta, tenemos que hacer unos cambios. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Sí. Porque el, el que lleva el adverbio, ¿cuál es el adverbio? El adverbio es before. Ese es el adverbio. Exacto. Entonces, la oración que debe de ser modificada es la que lleva el adverbio. Y como ya vimos, que es la segunda oración. Y el adverbio debe de ir al principio. Entonces, vamos a decir, before. Before. ¿Cuál vamos a modificar? Uh -huh. I before playing, before plays I'm so sorry. Before playing any any poker game, any game. My sister does exercises to warm up. Mm. ¿Por qué? Porque lo que se modifica es la oración que lleva el adverbio. Uh -huh. In this case, uh, change the position. The position. The... Correct. Why? ¿Por qué lo cambiamos? ¿Por qué cree usted que cambiamos la posición? Si nosotros, the, the, um, if we say it, My sister does exercises to warm up before uh, playing any soccer game. ¿Estaría bien? Como que cambia de posición, tijera, sí. Sí, estaría uh -huh. bien si nosotros decimos, My sister does exercises to warm up before playing any soccer game. Estaría bien sí. también. De las dos maneras, ah, pero, de dos maneras. pero el, la uh, adverbial clause la mayor parte del tiempo va a ir al principio. Va al principio. Sería como regla fundamental eh, que vaya siempre al principio. Sí, que vaya al principio. Correct. Uh -huh. Pero si usted dice, my sister does exercise to warm up before playing any soccer game, también estaría correcto. Ok, no es que esté incorrecto, porque la regla fu fundamental es que sean los mismos sujetos para poder cambiar. Ok, pero se ve más eh, bonito, ok, su gramática de esta manera. Se ve ah. como más, más ordenado. Más ordenado, porque lleva hasta la coma. 
fíjese bien, para separar las dos oraciones. Uh -huh. Ya lo entendí. Ok, bye. Ahora... O sea que sí, es, es como por regla que debería cambiarse y ponerse al inicio para poder colocarle la coma Para poder y hacer colocar la separación. la punctuation. Yes. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok. Ahora, number three. Why do you smell like Ok, first of all, can we reduce it? Yes or no. Fíjese en los sujetos, es la primera regla. Can we reduce it? ¿Sí la podemos reducir? ¿O no la podemos reducir? Yes, Yes. teacher. Yes. Yes. No. 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 ¿Por qué no? Porque el sujeto no es el mismo. No. Mire, while the snow, aquí tenemos que el sujeto es la nieve y aquí tenemos que es el the truck driver. The truck driver. Entonces los sujetos no son los mismos, entonces no se puede reducir. Y en ese caso, ¿cómo se pondría? Uh, No, en, es, en ese caso, no. not. cannot reduce. Eso le va a poner. ¿ve? Uh, así, can, can not reduce. Así. Yes. Entonces sería, can not reduce. Cannot Why re the... reduce. Can not reduce why this no of falling was No, falling. no, no. No, no, No. no. Wendy, lo que le va a poner usted a la oración en paréntesis como respuesta es que no reduce, no se Ah, puede reducir. ah, ok. Ya lo Porque entendí. no se puede, ajá, no se puede hacer nada, no se puede hacer nada, ¿sí? Ajá. Ok, what about number four? Hoy Pablo. <laughs> okay. okay, so as the teacher explained the problem, I began to understand it. Can we reduce it? Okay. Cannot reduce. <laughs> Cannot reduce. Oh, very good, because we have Okay. different subjects. Very Okay. good. Excellent. Muy bien, Pablo. Okay. What about number five? I listen to Why music. listen? Uh Why -huh. listen to music? Okay. While listening to music. Whenever I read in the car. Okay. I write in the car. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sí, podemos decirlo así, okay. Estaríamos cambiando la, el adverbio porque el adverbio aquí es whenever, no es while. Pero sí, ajá, lo estaríamos cambiando, pero ahora si queremos utilizar whenever, ¿cómo sería? Whenever. Casi es similar a, a lo que hicimos en la número dos. Right. Right. Before. Whenever I ride in Ok, the car. pero, ajá, ¿cómo sería con la adverbial eh, clause? Whenever riding in the car, I listen to music. Perfect, así, muy bien. Ajá. And continue, continue with the number six, ok? Voy a ir al otro room que me están pidiendo ayuda, ok? Continúen Okay, con okay. la seis y después, recuerde, continuamos con la del libro. Okay. Yes. Was, Hello. was, hello, teacher. How you doing? We need Um, you. yes. Okay. Tell me. I think that's on you also. Okay. Probably it's the same Okay. question that you may have. Okay. Tell me. We are more important, <laughs> Tony. no. Okay. You all are important. No, no we are. <laughs> okay. 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 The rule is is simple. The rule say if you have. before, after, since, and while, you can reduce the, the, the subject, verb, be, okay, we, we, bueno,
we think we only we we only can reduce number one, number five, and number six. Number six. one, number three, and number six. Okay, yes. number one, number three, and number six. Okay, number one, let me see. Okay. Number three. Number three, you said. Yes. Yes, teacher. But number three is not the same subject. Is not is not the same subject. We have the snow and we have the truck driver. Mm -hmm. So number five, yes. And number yeah. six as well. Um. And number two as well. Oh, we have many dogs. Okay. We lose the idea. <laughs> yes. Tell me. Okay. Uh, number number three. We can re reduce that that sentence. Uh -huh, you cannot. Because. Because it's not the same subject. Even if you... if they started with the with the word while. Well. Well. Yes, even though it starts with the word uh, while, no, no, okay, so okay, the rule yeah. in this case is for the uh, sentences that begin with while uh, after. Uh, later, I I understand but, why. But but using the same subject, if it's not yeah. the same subject, you cannot yeah. you cannot uh, reduce it. Reduce yeah. it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. Got it, in Spanish, por eso no entendí el sub. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I got it now. <laughs> okay. Any other doubts? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Continue, guys. Okay. Continue. Let me see. Uh, Tony. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Vamos a la tercera. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. Sorry, I was with the other team. The no day problem. Had a lot of questions as well. Okay, so tell me, what are your questions? Um, in the second clause, um, I think that it's not possible to reduce because you, um, the, the sentence or the, the clause is not using um, uh, adverbs of time, like before, like while, like when, like um, whether as the since mm -hmm. or after. And, and when I try to 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 make it more shorter, it's not possible to me understand the the, the clause when I translate to Spanish. Okay. Uh, in the second, we are agree when when she when, when the sentence is talking about the same person. Yes. It, because the sister is the same that she plays. Yes. But when we try to reduce. We can't. Oh, when, when in my in my case, I can. Um, Emerson uh, tell us while doing exercise to warm up before she plays any soccer game, and mm -hmm. he is, is not having sense the the the, um, the sense. sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is, is possible the second? Uh, yes. Shorter? Yes, it is. It's possible, but it's yes. the right way. Okay. So, um, as you mentioned before, we have the same subject, so it is possible, <laughs> right? Which is the adverb time that we have? The what is the time adverb? is before. Um, Very good. So before is the adverb, right? But it's it, not in the uh, at this, in, when you start the the clues. Very good. It is not when you start the clause, right? But in this case, we can reduce that clause because we have the advert time, we have the same subjects. Even though the advert time is not at the beginning, we can reduce it. So my sister does exercises to warm up before playing any soccer game. 
Now, yes. if you ah, want okay. to rearrange yes. the sentence, you can rearrange the sentence. Before playing any soccer game, my sister does exercises to warm up. Okay, let me let me write. My sister okay. does exercise. Before playing any uh -huh. soccer game. Yes. Okay, the warm up. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I got it. Yes. Very I got good. It. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes. Hi, teacher. Yes. Hello, yes. I, I, I heard my name. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, yes. tell me. You are so bad. So <laughs> mad. Why? No. We, we, we want to know the score. The score? Of, yes. The score about the last exercise before yesterday that we did at the last moment in the class. Yes. Do you remember? Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> So let me get that for you, okay? Let me see. Mm. Teacher, uh, we do the number three. No, number number two. Okay, tell me how how uh -huh. okay so Don't exercise to work up before plays any soccer game. No. no. What is yeah. the uh, what we is are lost teacher in this in this yes. exercise? Mm -hmm. And what? and yeah. Um, Okay, um, uh, give me, give me just a second, okay? Um, Aleida, uh, yeah. uh, do you want me to show the, the, the scores here? Yeah, if you prefer. I mean, yes, I can go ahead and, 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 and share it, okay? Yeah. All right, so um, I'm going to stop the, the screening share here, okay? Just, I don't know who was sharing, but... Hello. Hi. Stop to sharing the, the screen, please, Atilio. Ahora later te va a pegar. No. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, bye. Aleida, this was your score, 80. Okay. Why? Because nobody is singular. Uh, and, and Brad is singular. Brad is, is he? Uh, is he? Uh -huh. yes. So you got eighty percent. Okay. 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 Quiero ver mi cero. Okay. Yes. Let me see Louis. Okay. Yes. Let me <laughs> let me get Louis. Um, es que ya lo hice bien dormido, pero tengo fe que me va a sacar uno. <laughs> okay, Louis. Hey, teacher, I wake up for and the. Perdón, I wake up every day in at the 4 a.m. I know it could be really tiring. Okay, fifty percent because it was third person, third person, third person, third person. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. We are having. We are having trouble with uh, the third person. With the third person, that is correct. Yeah. Okay, is Atilio and Maris, would you like to see your score? I don't make it. Ah, uh, yes, you, you didn't finish it. Yeah, feeling? Not. No, no la termina. No. Aquí me sale que está en progreso todavía. En yes. Atilio tampoco. No, no lo terminaron. Creo que me dio problemas la, la conexión, pero quedó ahí. Ya lo busco, Ticha. Ah, ya no, porque ya viste la respuesta, no molesté. No, no, no. ¿Cómo que si tengo memoria fotográfica? Te voy a pegar. Ok. Ok, right. okay teacher. Yes. We, about this topic, uh, we think uh, we, are, we don't have very or so clear the, the rules. Ok. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Okay, um, let's see. But the first rule, guys, the first rule, we need to keep the time word 
So that means the adverb, tenemos que mantener el adverbio. That is the first rule. We need to remove the subjects. And, well, the most important one, la más importante, es que tenemos que verificar que el sujeto sea el mismo en las dos oraciones. Porque si no, no se puede cambiar. Aunque quiera usted cambiarlo en el tema de que se, que se llama adverbial time flows, no se puede. Porque el, ese tema es bien importante um, porque es un tema gramatical únicamente. ¿Ok? Entonces, acá, en la número 3, while the snow was falling, ¿verdad? Ya sabemos que esto es, no es el mismo, the snow no es lo mismo que the truck driver, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es la primera regla. Y el número 2. Ahora, la número 2, eh, you know, um, Tony had the same question. Era la pregunta que tenía Tony. Bien. Number two, veamos. Primero, identifiquemos. Let's identify. Do we have the same subject? Yes, my sister, she and she. Yes, very good. So we have the same subject, my sister and she. So that is good, right? Now, guys, do we have um an adverb uh, do we have an adverb tenemos un adverbio guys creo que no 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 vaya okay los adverbios de tiempo while before, while, whenever. Ah, uh, okay. okay. We don't. We know how to apply the rules. We hey. don't have a bad bird. Uh, Playing. Bye. Entonces ya vimos lo siguiente que sí tenemos un adverbio de tiempo. Entonces, como tenemos el mismo sujeto y tenemos un adverbio de tiempo, sí podemos reducir la cláusula. Ahora. Pero el adverbio de tiempo no está al principio. Está en el medio. Y es por eso que quizás genera la confusión. Porque no tengo el adverbio como lo estudiamos anteriormente. Que era al principio. Está en el medio. It is in the middle, right? Pero okay. independientemente el adverbio de tiempo está en el medio. Si se puede reducir esta oración. ¿cómo, ¿Y cómo sería the reduction? ¿Cómo piensa usted que sería? Doing exercise to wear up? No. Before, no. No. Vaya, aquí lo que tenemos que identificar es qué oración lleva el adverbio de tiempo. ¿Es la primera o es la segunda? The second to one. Play, to play any soccer game. Es esta, ¿verdad? Porque aquí comienza el adverbio de tiempo. Ahí. Entonces, ¿cómo sería? Before playing. Any soccer game. Correct. Y the, the first one is does exercise to wear up. Esa queda igual. Porque aquí ah, si okay, no. My sister. Por, ajá, ah, okay. Porque donde tenemos que quitar el sujeto es aquí. Ah, uh, y solo. Oh, cambio, okay. cambio, entonces cambio, no, cambio, no, no importa. Entonces en español, perdón. No, no importa, en, en el segundo, en la segunda frase, si empieza con un adverbio de tiempo, lo podemos reducir. Aunque no sea while, after, since. Before play any soccer game, my sister does exercise to warm up. Ahora, ahora viene uh, algo que acaba de mencionar la Leida, que es la posición. Bien, eh, podemos hacerla de dos maneras, ¿sí? Podemos hacerla de dos maneras, la voy a hacer aquí. Bueno, la primera sería la así como está my sister my sister does exercises to warm up to warm up before uh, playing playing Uy. any soccer game any soccer game bye entonces esa sería como la normal que quedaría igualita como está ahí verdad ¿Sí? Pero también podemos hacer lo que Aleida mencionó, 
que entonces sería before eh, playing any soccer game coma my sister does exercises to warm up vaya mira y tenemos esa, esa segunda both are correct both are correct pero cuál es la diferencia que aquí tenemos que poner una coma porque comenzamos con un adverbio y si el adverbio está en el medio como este como en la primera la coma no es necesario pero es la misma idea ok Sí, es la misma idea. Eso es igual que los condicionales. Si se recuerda de los condicionales de las comas, es lo mismo. ¿Sí? ¿Eh, ¿Vieron los condicionales o no? Yes, pero no nos acordamos. Ok, pero tal vez no nos <risa> Hay que estudiar otra vez. Y es más que todo de los signos de puntuación. Aquí es más que todo signos de correcto? puntuación. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces las dos están correctas. ¿Sí? Ajá. Uh -huh. No. No. ¿Sí? ¿Dudas? Mm. Mm. Clear, it's clear like corchata, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. no, I understand, I understand. That yes. means, for example, in the number five, because it's almost the same, uh, example because we never is in the middle of the of the sentences so we can do uh, the same the same yeah i listen to music we never riding in the car mm -hmm. or whenever never riding in the car i listen to music yeah and and then uh, whenever I ride in the car, comma, I listen to music. music. Yeah, okay. Correct. Okay, I understand better in this case. Yes, it's just a matter of practicing and probably finding out those type of things, right? That probably there they come along the way, right? It's not like, but yes. In this case, um, let's move to this one, okay? To the last part, yeah? Let's try to see if you are able to identify now if you can reduce it or no. Okay, I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can finish with it. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes, let me see. Before, okay. before. Do you finish? Do you have questions, doubts? Um, question, teacher. Tell me. Uh, and three, Andrew keep text message. Okay. Yes. What is the question that you have? Ahí no falta esa, teacher. Ah, bye. Bye, guys. Pero esa es la misma que estábamos eh, viendo uh -huh. la vez pasada. Es lo mismo. Lo mismo, lo mismo. Pero en esa tiene el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Hay que cambiar donde dice while he was. Ajá, ¿qué, ¿qué pasa en esta? Uh -huh. He was. Eh. ¿Qué tenemos que hacer en este, en la número 3? What do we need to do, guys? Porque es el verbo to be. ¿Se recuerda lo que vimos que dice que cuando llevamos el verbo to be, qué hace? Desaparece el sujeto y el verbo to be. Entonces, Entonces what we need to do, ajá, ¿qué tenemos que hacer y cómo sería? Uh -huh. Only write uh, while in video conference. Muy bien. Solamente va a escribir while in a video conference y lo que resta, ¿ok? Porque es la regla. Tenemos que quitar el sujeto y el verbo to be. Yes. yes. Vaya. Ah. Vámonos, ajá. Vámonos ah, a la sala principal. 
Yes. ¿Tienen preguntas hecho. antes de movernos? ¿Otra pregunta? Mm. About. Mm. No, no, no. no teacher. Ya vamos a aprender, teacher. Yes, no worry, okay, porque vamos a verlo otra vez a, en la sala principal porque creo que todos tienen dudas ahorita. ¿sí? Está bien, teacher, okay. está bien. Vale, vamos, let's go. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to take the attendance. Let's wait for the other ones, okay, to join. Um, let me see. I think that no, we're still missing some of you. We still miss. Okay, I think that now, yes. Okay, so I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Uh, let me see. Okay, we already have all of you. Okay, so say present uh, once you hear your name. Um, let me see. Yes, okay. Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Aleida. En la ley, ok. Eh, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Ay, conmigo estaba Leida, pero se vio yes. como que la sacó son. Yes, ajá, sí estaba con nosotros. Carlos Omar Linares. Carlos Omar. No, ok. Eh, Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Present teacher. Thank you, Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you, Jonathan José González and Jonathan. Yeah. Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Present teacher. Thank you, José Bernardo López. Present teacher. Thank you, Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Carla Sofía. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez. Luis Miguel Corbera. Present teacher. Thank you. Marian Scarlett Rodríguez. Marian Scarlett. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Yes, thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade. Pablo Adalberto Abrego. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Raúl Antonio. Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present Yes, thank you. Eh, Sandra Abigail Bonilla. Present. Thank you. Um, Tatiana Yvonne Torres. Tatiana. Present, Miss. Thank you. Present. Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present, teacher. Thank you. And Wilbert Jonathan Bautista. Present. All right. So, guys, uh, let's continue. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that you do have questions. And right now, we are going to try to, um, I will say, sort that out. Okay. So, um, Okay, guys, number one, can we reduce the first uh, two clauses? Yes or no? Yes. yes. And how can we reduce them? Give me the, the complete idea. 
while playing I, a game on my phone, I walk into the world. Very good. While I, while playing, right? So we need to remove I and was. Was. So while playing a game on my phone, I walked into the world. Okay, very good. So yeah. now what about number two? Can we um, reduce that clause? Yes, before playing any soccer game, my sister does exercise to warm up. Okay, warm very good. Up. To warm up. Yes. All right, guys. So, and on this one, most of you had that question, right? Because we didn't have, or we don't have, the advert clause or the advert time, right, at the beginning. But in this case, um, we can have the adverb at the beginning or in the middle, yes? So if we have it in the middle, we do the same thing. What we need to do is that we are going to reduce this clause, this sentence, and we are going to add the ing before playing any soccer game. And in this case, the idea will be like this. My sister does exercises to warm up before playing any soccer game. But now we can create the other way around, right? So we can say, before playing any soccer game, my sister does exercises to warm up. So both are correct. Both ideas. Both ideas are correct. But in this case, what we need to be careful with is with the punctuation marks, okay? Why? Because if we add before at the beginning of the sentence, in this case, before playing any soccer game, coma, my sister does exercises to warm up. So the rule says, if you have the adverb time at the beginning, a comma is necessary to separate both sentences. But if you have the advert time in the middle, no comma is needed. Yeah? Yeah. Do you have any doubt? Something that is not clear? Uh-huh. Okay, so I think that is clear. What about number three? While the snow was falling, the truck driver could hardly see the road. Can we reduce it? No. Why not? not? Uh -huh. It's not the same subject. Very good. It's not the same subject. Excellent. Number four. As the teacher explained the problem, I began to understand it. Can we reduce it? No, because? Teacher and I is a different person. Excellent. Different subjects. Very good. Number five. I listen to music whenever reading in the car. Riding in the car. Okay. Very good. It's the same example as number two, right? The same case. The mm -hmm. same case. Teacher, Abigail yeah. asked about the use of ride. Is not driving the correct way? Yeah, riding? No, driving. Driving? Driving. Embed the riding. Uh -huh. Um. Well, no. I mean, you can say drive or ride. Because in in the previous level, we use ride to use when you um have a motorcycle or a bicycle or uh, another type of of uh, um transportation. But yes. when you use um cars, we need to use drive. Mm, I mean, yes, I do understand those rules, but we can also say ride. Yeah? 
it is um, not incorrect. But you need to, I know that you have some rules, right? And that probably you were taught those type of or rules, but it's not like mandatory. Maybe when you use drive, is the action to drive the car, not ride, because you are a passenger, not a driver. In the mm. case that when you ride the taxi, you are in the taxi, but you are not driving. The taxi man is the driver. You are okay. riding the taxi. Maybe yes. this is an, an, an example or the explanation of, of this rule. Okay, it could be. Okay. Yes. What about number six? After I sent my job application, I realized that I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. After sending my job application, I realized that I made a mistake. Very good. Yes. You see? So basically, that is um, like reducing adverbial clauses, right? Now, let's see the ones from the book. Yeah. So number one, can we reduce it? Yes or no? We have after the product development team finish brainstorming, it is essential to discard ideas that are not feasible. Again, after the, lo the development team finish brainstorming, brain it's okay. Essential to discard idea that aren't be feasible. Feasible. Okay. Is it the same subject? Yes. Okay. So we have the product development team, a group of people. And we have it, which is a thing. No. Mm, different. Different, right? So in this case, um, no, we cannot reduce number one. Because of, possible. yes, it is not possible, right? Because of the first um, rule that we have, which is the most important. The two subjects should be the same. If not, we cannot reduce. Maybe in the second part, we talk about the ideas, the brainstorming, but this is not the same, in the same order. Uh -huh. That is correct. Yeah. What about number two? Can we reduce number two? Yes, because the manager is the same as he had. Correct. So, which is the answer for number two before listening the 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 weakness of the company on a side he had presented new products to the help the company increase sales okay very good so before listing okay before listing, listing. The, the weaknesses all right, weaknesses of the company on a slide. He had presented new products to help the company increase sales. But very good, we can, yes. What about number three? Can we reduce it? Yes or no? And if so, which is the answer? Yeah. Andrew keeps text. Messaging mm -hmm. while um, yes, yes, I mean, va bien. Mm -hmm. Being mm -hmm. okay, Abigail. So the rule the set uh -huh, that we need when when we have 
any form of the verb to be, what we need to do is we need to remove the subject and the verb to be. Mm, while in a video conference about the pro prototype. prototype for the new product. Very good. So now just pronunciation, okay? In this case, the simple past kept. Kept. Yes. And this one, video. Video. Conference. Yes. Uh, oh. Teacher, uh -huh. after the while, it, um, the bear, yes. second bear. Ah, uh, very good. So in this case, after a while, remember that the rule says, right? That whenever we have the verb to be, ese es un verbo to be, que está en pasado, right? That is in past. So we need to delete the subject and the verb to be. So no hay verbo. What we need to add is use the noun. Porque ese es el noun. Ese, in a video conference. Todo eso es el noun. A video conference. Entonces solo se deja lo que le sigue. Ok. Eh, yeah. The correct way is Andrew keeping text messaging while in a video conference or the prototype for the new product. Um, the correct way. Uh huh. No, the correct no. way is as Abigail mentioned. Andrew kept text messaging while in a video conference. But the ing is not possible because the verb is in past tense. Okay, so the ing is not possible because which is the adverb plus? ¿Cuál es la, la oración que lleva el adverbio? ¿Cuál? ¿Es la primera o la segunda? Ah. The second one. Entonces la que tenemos que modificar es la segunda. Y como, uh, if you remember, de la regla que vimos por el verbo to be, entonces solo se elimina esto. Y queda lo demás. Como lo que vimos, let me see, let me, let me go back. But, but my question is, you don't need to, to, to modify the, the verb, kept, because it's no. in the past. No, ese queda así. Porque vamos a modificar siempre la oración que lleve el adverbio. Porque, por eso es the adverbial clause. Porque se modifica la que lleva el adverbio. No se modifica la otra. Esa no. Porque la que lleva el adverbio es esta. La última. Cuando el adverbio está en el medio, siempre es que va a la par de la segunda oración. Uh -huh. While. <coughs> yes. While. Uh -huh. While. While. Es lo mismo, eso es lo mismo, guys, es lo mismo que está aquí. Solamente que aquí lo que tal vez ve usted que es el verbo to be, pero recuerde de la regla, que el verbo Where? to be dice que lo vamos a quitar todo esto y solo queda esta parte, como en el ejemplo que vimos aquí, que vimos que se, eh, se veía algo raro, ¿verdad? Pero es porque la regla dice que debemos de eliminar el sujeto y el verbo to be. Es la regla. Uh -huh. Yes. Pablo. Teacher, in this case, in the sentence, uh, we can change the second one and the fifth part of the sentence. Like, like moving this part to the beginning? Yes. Yes? Yes, podemos decir, while in a video conference about the prototype for the new product, Andrew kept text messaging. <clears throat> sí, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can go ahead and do that. Okay, what about number four? Mm -hmm. we and the adverb is in the second part. Okay. Very good. It is in the second part, right? And which is uh, the adverb after? Uh, after falling to produce positive 
re resolve in the SWOT analysis. Analysis? Analysis. Many, many what? I can see. Many, um. Promising. Product promising. idea or private. Como? Promising. Promising product ideas are the rule out. A rule out. Guys, rule this out. a phrasal verb. Ese es un verbo frasal que significa descartar. Descartar. Rule out. We, we use ENG e in falling. Failing. Very good. Failing. Failing. Aquí okay. va el N. Okay. Yes. All right. We delete. Day. We delete, delete day. A day. Day. Right. Day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about number five? Excuse, excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. I, yes. I, I forgot the idea. No, I, I I don't understand this this example. Okay. So okay. let's see. We need to we need to uh, in, in this case uh, identify the the verb to be, um, but it's not. Um, but it's not they. No, but we don't have verb to be here. Mm -hmm. Only we have the adverb of time. Uh -huh. This is the first sentence, right? Mm -hmm. This one is the adverb. Exactly, it's after. Okay, and this one is the other sentence, which is in simple present, right? Entonces aquí no va a verbo to be, porque no tenemos, es verbo, eh, la idea es, está eh, siendo expresada en simple present tense. Okay. No es lo mismo que la three, es different. Ok, and then, many promising products ideas are ruled out uh -huh. after failing to, failing to produce positive results. In the SWOT analysis. Correct. Only uh, delete the day. This is the only option. Correct. Yes, you just delete this. And you add the ing. Okay. 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 The weakness of the company can be transformed into opportunity of after a year. Let me think. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, okay. Identify. We can change design for designing. No. Designed with designing. Mm. We don't have subject in this sentence. Let mm. me see them, them. I don't know. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, somebody else that may have a different opinion for number five. Can you hear you? The subject is the weakness of yeah. company. Yes. And the second part after a carefully comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. We don't have the same subject. Mm -hmm. We don't have the same subject. Because and the subject it's here, not possible. it's not possible. A careful contingency plan. It's not the same subject, right? We are talking about weaknesses and then we are talking about plans. Okay. It's not the same subject. And the last one. Before you present a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of costs and benefits. Can we reduce it? 
Yes. Yes. Right. Um, before presenting a new idea to the manager, you need to present a detailed list of costs and costs and benefits. Correct. We have before is is an adverb. Mm -hmm. We have a subject. It yes. Is the same subject. Correct. Okay. Perfect. With ing or without ing. Oh, with with ing before presenting. Presenting mm -hmm. a new idea to the manager. Mm -hmm. Need to Which present. Is, is confusion. When you eliminate the verb to be and use the her the gerb, and when you only delete the verb to be. Mm, okay. Okay, but on number six. Uh, Tony, we do not have verb to be. Ah, uh, okay. It's, yeah, it's only you. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes. Rush. Okay. Sorry. Don't worry. It's okay. All right. Any other doubt? Somebody else that may have doubts, guys? Okay. In this example, doesn't matter. You don't have verb to be. Only need <clears throat> is the adverbs of time and the subject. And the subject. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. So let's move and let's start by taking the the quizzes that we have. Okay. The listening quizzes. So we are going to take the first listening quiz. So if you are on the spreadsheet, that's the one that says listening quiz six. Okay, there you go for the ones that are not there. So in the passcode, as always, listening. Okay, listening. Um, okay, let me know once you are ready so I can play the first one. Okay. Um, I'm going to play it um, three times, okay? Just for you to get all of the ideas. Three times. Okay. Yeah? Uh, ready. ready, perfect. Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, let me see this one. Is... Give me one second, guys. Forty oh six. Okay, here we go. I can hear the audio. Me too. Can you hear, teacher. guys? The other ones? No. no? Nobody. No. no. Not teacher. Nobody. Okay. Let me see if I can share the sound. Okay. Let me see. Hey, everyone. In this video, yes. my dad operated. Everybody? Oh, right now, yes. Okay. Hi, everyone. In this video, my dad, Aubrey, and I are going to be talking about our favorite websites to visit every day. Uh, let's start off. Aubrey, what are your favorite websites to visit? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't know that like actual websites I go to as often anymore. I mean, there are definitely apps that I visit all the time, like TikTok. I'm always on TikTok. <laughs> I'm on Amazon way too often. Okay. <laughs> all right. Do they know you by name? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, so Amazon, and what? why do you visit Amazon? I uh, pretend shop for things and then sometimes accidentally real shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Amazon, and how about another? Let me think. But people Audible. use use that, and you mentioned Audible? Mm -hmm. Audible? And what is that? Too. Uh, that That is Amazon owned, um, but it still counts. They're separate companies. Right. Um, it's uh, audiobooks. It, they sell okay. audiobooks. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, good. 
And Emily, what about you? A couple of websites that you visit regularly. Uh, I tend to be a doomsday scroller and I read the news okay. multiple times a day. Yep. Okay. That's fun. Oh, when feel... we're offline, I have some questions about current events. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you feel comfortable sharing the names of the websites? I know people sometimes are pretty particular about the ones they visit. Sometimes we make judgments on the ones that people view. Yeah. Uh, do you want to mention uh, I usually do. No, that's fine. I usually do CNN or KSL. Okay. okay I like to read news. The Onion sometimes. No, it's a parody know. news website. So their articles are ridiculous. Like there was an article recently where it was um, criticizing a seven-year-old for not being able to maintain a narrative while playing with his action figures. Ah, yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, that would be unusual. Uh, what about Fox News or something like that? We're going to bring up Fox News. Well, I thought okay. this was not going to be political. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, uh, delete. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think people, for example, when I look at the news, I often might look at CNN. I might occasionally look at Fox News to kind of see the direction of the commentary, whether I agree or disagree. But yes, yeah, some of those things can be very political on to what people do. Uh, I find that I check out my own website uh, every day just to make sure. Yeah, making sure that things are working and so forth. And well, although not even work, I'm on my work page all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. I mean, people are always involved in those. Emily, is there anything else? Another website or service? And then again, we don't want to necessarily drift into apps, but anything else? Nope. Doomsday. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your favorite websites or the things that you like to do to become aware of the world, uh, whether it's something uh, parody on news or just everyday events. It's good to know that. Thank you. Okay. So here we, here we go with the second time. Um, let me reshare the screen. Probably that helps, Aleida. Let's see. Okay. Hi, everyone. Now? Can you hear? In this video, my dad, Aubrey, and I are going to be talking about our favorite. No. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Yes, teacher. Hi, everyone. In this video, my dad, Aubrey, and I are going to be talking about our favorite websites to visit every day. Uh, let's start off. Aubrey, what are your favorite websites to visit? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't know that like actual websites I go to as often anymore. I mean, there are definitely apps that I visit all the time, like TikTok. I'm always on TikTok. <laughs> I'm on Amazon way too often. Okay. <laughs> all right. Do they know you by name? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay. So Amazon and what, why do you visit Amazon? I uh, pretend shop for things and then sometimes accidentally real shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Amazon and how about another? Let me think. Uh, people Audible. use use that. And you mentioned Audible? Mm -hmm. And Audible what is that? Too. Uh, that? That is Amazon owned, um, but it still counts. They're separate companies. Right. Um, it's uh, audiobooks. It, they sell okay. audiobooks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, good. And Emily, what about you? A couple of websites that you visit regularly. Uh, I tend to be a doomsday scroller and I read the news okay. multiple times a day. Yep, okay. that's fun. Oh, when feel... we're offline, I have some questions about current events. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you feel comfortable sharing the names of the websites? I know people sometimes are pretty particular about the ones they visit. Sometimes we make judgments on the ones that people view. Yeah. Uh, do you want to mention uh, that? I or usually not do. No, that's fine. I usually do CNN or KSL. Okay. Okay. Fox I like to news. read The Onion sometimes. No, it's a parody know. news website. So their articles are ridiculous. Like there was an article recently where it was um, criticizing a seven year old for not being able to maintain a narrative while playing with his action figures. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, that would be unusual. 
Uh, what about Fox News or something like that? We're going to bring up Fox News. Well, I thought okay. this is not going to be political. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, uh, delete. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think people, for example, when I look at the news, I often might look at CNN. I might occasionally look at Fox News to kind of see the direction of the commentary, whether I agree or disagree. But yes, yeah, some of those things can be very political on to what people do. Uh, I find that I check out my own website uh, every day, just to make, yeah, making sure that things are working and so forth. And well, although- work, I'm on my work page all the time. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, people are always involved in those. Emily, is there anything else, another website or service? And then again, we don't want to necessarily drift into apps, but anything else? Nope. Doomsday. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your favorite websites or the things that you like to do to become aware of the world, uh, whether it's something uh, parody on news or just everyday events. It's good to know that. Thank you. Okay, so do you get all of the idea or would you like me to replay it? Replay it, please, teacher. Okay. Yeah, because the number five, the question number five, I don't get it. Okay, let's go. Please. Um, number 40. Hi, everyone. In this video, my dad, Aubrey, and I are going to be talking about our favorite websites to visit every day. Uh, let's start off. Aubrey, what are your favorite websites to visit? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I don't know that like actual websites I go to as often anymore. I mean, there are definitely apps that I visit all the time, like TikTok. I'm always on TikTok. <laughs> I'm on Amazon way too often. Okay. <laughs> all right. Do they know you by name? Uh, probably not. <laughs> okay, so Amazon and what? why do you visit Amazon? I uh, pretend shop for things and then sometimes accidentally real shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Amazon and how about another? Let me think. But people Audible. use use that. And you mentioned Audible? Mm -hmm. Audible. And what is that? Too. Uh, that? That is Amazon owned, um, but it still counts. They're separate companies. Right. Um, it's uh, audiobooks. It, they sell okay. audiobooks. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, good. And Emily, what about you? A couple of websites that you visit regularly. Uh, I tend to be a doomsday scroller and I read the news okay. multiple times a day. Yep, okay. that's fun. Do oh, when feel... we're offline, I have some questions about current events. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you feel comfortable sharing the names of the websites? I know people sometimes are pretty particular about the ones they visit. Sometimes we make judgments on the ones that people view. Yeah, uh, do you want to mention uh, that? I usually do. No, that's fine. I usually do CNN or KSL. Okay. Okay. Fox I like to news. read The Onion sometimes. No, it's a parody it. news website, so their articles are ridiculous. Like there was an article recently where it was um, criticizing a seven-year-old for not being able to maintain a narrative while playing with his action figures. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that would be unusual. Uh, what about Fox News or something like that? We're going to bring up Fox News. Well, I thought okay. this is not going to be political. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's just uh, uh, delete. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think people, for example, when I look at the news, I often might look at CNN. I might occasionally look at Fox News to kind of see the direction of the commentary, whether I agree or disagree. But yes, yeah, some of those things can be very political on to what people do. Uh, I find that I check out my own website uh, every day, just to make, yeah, making sure that things are working and so forth. And well, although- I work, I'm on my work page all the time. Yeah, yeah, that's that's true. I mean, people are always involved in those. Emily, is there anything else, another website or service? And then again, we don't want to necessarily drift into apps, but anything else? Nope. Doomsday. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for sharing your favorite websites or the things that you like to do to become aware of the world, uh, whether it's something uh, parody on news or just everyday events. 
It's good to know that. Thank you. Okay. So now, yes. Okay. Submit your, your answers. Okay. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. I have to do with the this one was a little difficult than the others. Yes. This this was uh yes, kind of difficult. Yeah. They they speak so fast. Huh? Yes, okay. They do. Okay, okay, guys. Let's say the second one, okay? The listening quiz seven. Okay. So Okay, there you go. And the passcode is listening. It's the same passcode, okay? Listening. The same passcode. I fail one. Okay. Uh... Is the same address that you sent before, teacher? The same. Oh, okay. Why okay. did the man? Uh, okay. Why did the man? Why did the man not buy the ring for sale? Okay, that's the one that we are it, going to take. Is it correct? Okay. Yes, yeah, that one is the correct. Okay, here we go. Okay. Pay attention because this one is also kind of um difficult. Okay, but. Pay attention. Okay. Well, hi there. What are you looking for today? Uh, I'm just looking. Well, how about a ring for someone special? There is no one special. Well, take a look at the CD player. A great bargain today only. Nah, I already have one. Plus, the handle is cracked. Okay. Well, what about this genuine leather jacket? It would look great on you. Hmm, let me take a look at it. Sure. Hmm. There are stains on the sleeves. I'll pass. Well, okay. Well, wouldn't you like to walk home with some of these great records? Some of the best hits from the 1960s. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Now, here's something. I'd... Ah, these records are scratched. <laughs> oh, well, just in a couple places. Listen, I'll sell you these ten records for $50. A steal. Whoa, they're way too expensive. I'll give you 25 bucks for them. <laughs> I can't charge you less than $30 and break even. Well, that guy over there is selling similar records for a much better price. So thanks anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You drive a hard bargain. $28 and that's my final offer. Huh. I'll think about it. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, I'll even throw in this vase. Now what am I going to do with a vase? Well, you can give it to that someone special when you find her and this ring would look great with it. Oh, I'll stick with the records. Okay. I'm going to replay it, okay? Here we go. Well, hi there. What are you looking for today? Uh, I'm just looking. Well, how about a ring for someone special? There is no one special. Well, take a look at the CD player. A great bargain today only. Nah, I already have one. Plus, the handle is cracked. Okay. Well, what about this genuine leather jacket? It would look great on you. Hmm. Let me take a look at it. Sure. Hmm. There are stains on the sleeves. I'll pass. Well, okay. Well, wouldn't you like to walk home with some of these great records? Some of the best hits from the 1960s. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Now, here's something I'd... Ah, these records are scratched. <laughs> oh, well, just in a couple places. Listen. I'll sell you these 10 records for $50, a steal. Whoa, they're way too expensive. I'll give you 25 bucks for them. <laughs> Come on, I can't charge you less than $30 and break even. Well, that guy over there is selling similar records for a much better price, so thanks anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You drive a hard bargain. $28 and that's my final offer. Huh. I'll think about it. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, I'll even throw in this vase. Now, what am I going to do with a vase? Well, you can give it to that someone special when you find her, and this ring would look great with it. Oh, I'll stick with the records. 
Okay, the last time. Okay, the last time. Well, hi there. What are you looking for today? Uh, I'm just looking. Well, how about a ring for someone special? There is no one special. Well, take a look at the CD player. A great bargain today only. Nah, I already have one. Plus, the handle is cracked. Okay. Well, what about this genuine leather jacket? It would look great on you. Hmm. Let me take a look at it. Sure. Hmm. There are stains on the sleeves. I'll pass. Well, okay. Well, wouldn't you like to walk home with some of these great records, some of the best hits from the 1960s? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Now, here's something I'd. Ah, these records are scratched. <laughs> oh well, just in a couple places. Listen, I'll sell you these ten records for fifty dollars a steal. Whoa, they're way too expensive. I'll give you twenty-five bucks for them. <laughs> Come on, I can't charge you less than thirty dollars and break even. Well, that guy over there is selling similar records for a much better price. So thanks anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You drive a hard bargain. Twenty-eight dollars, and that's my final offer. Huh? I'll think about it. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, I'll even throw in this vase. Now, what am I gonna do with a vase? Well, you can give it to that someone special when you find her, and this ring would look great with it. Oh, I'll stick with the records. Okay. Okay, let me see your scores. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Um, all right, guys. So right now, just let me a couple, uh, let me ask you a couple of questions, okay? Um, can you please? Tell me which are the rules that we need to take into account whenever we want to reduce adverbial clauses. What are the rules? We need to identify the, the same subject. Very good. Identify the same subject. Identify the adverb of time. Very good. Identify the adverb of time. And what else? Mm -hmm. Change the pair. Change the pair. ING. Very good. Okay. And what happens when we have the verb to be? We are going to remove it. We are going to remove it. Uh -huh. Okay, so guys, um, okay, how would you say this in English? Okay, um, antes de levantarme de la cama, pienso en todo lo que haré durante el día. ¿Cómo diría eso? Antes de levantarme de la cama, pienso en todo lo que haré durante el día. Mm. Before I get up from the bed. Get up, yeah. Mm. Wake up. Wake yeah. up. Antes no, de... Wake up es despertarse. Before getting up. Excellent. Before getting up. Oh, getting up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Before getting up. Uh -huh. I think about. What I is, think about. And we are. All of the things I'm going to do during the day. Okay. Ahora. Yes, the last one. La última, okay. Antes de mandar el reporte, tengo que revisarlo. 
before sending the, the report. Uh -huh. I have to check it. I to review it. Okay. Antes de enviar el reporte, debo de revisarlo. Before to send the report. Before I sending uh, the report. Before the sending. Before sending. Before I must before. check it. I must check it, okay? okay. I must check. Yes, okay. Don't forget the general rule, guys, okay? La regla general. Después de esos adverbios, siempre va a ir un ing. Siempre, okay? Siempre. Always. Bye. Very good. Is that Daisy Elizabeth? Daisy? Okay, Eduardo Franco Núñez? No. No? Uh, okay, Emerson Ulysses? Yes, miss. Yeah. Okay, Emerson, can you stay with me? Okay, miss. No. All right. Thank you. Then the other ones, thank you very much for being responsible and connecting today, guys. I'll see you back on Monday. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Okay? Take care. Happy yeah? Weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, good night. 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 Yes. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Um, Emerson. How are you, Emerson? Hello. Very well. Okay, you know, Emerson, so we are going to have this short feedback, okay, just for me to um, actually ask you a couple of questions, okay, and I would like to know how have you felt with this module, okay, how have you felt with this week, okay, during classes, how have you felt, good, so, so, what do you think? Well, Miss, I, I think <laughs> it is a... Uh, most difficult with the previous mode, okay. but I feeling um, okay. Can you see me? Okay, I I I I feel um self confident. Self confident when okay. I can learn more. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay, Emerson. It is a little bit more difficult than the previous one, right? Because of the topics that we are seeing. Yes, you are right. It is more difficult, okay? But um, I think that this is a way for you to improve, for you to increase your English level, right? Because you need to force yourself to learn, right? So you need to push yourself to learn more mm -hmm. so now um okay emerson what are your expectations at the end of this module i mean tell me what do you want to learn in this module i think in this mode uh, i am the level to the more fluency and mm -hmm. have a more to dramatic dramatic Cover. Grammar? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think this is my goal for this mode. Okay. And then, Emerson, let me ask you this, okay? If you want to develop fluency, how can I make you speak more? How can I make you speak during the class? I mean, Yes, I, I try to call out your name for you to read and participate, right? But how can I make you to speak more? Because in order for you to improve your fluency, we need to speak more. So how can I make you to speak more? In general, I I like uh, participating in classroom. Uh -huh. Sometimes uh, the the topics are difficult for thinking the, exactly. the answer correct. Yes. But I I will try to more participate when the when in class. When in class, okay. Yeah. Um okay, Emerson. Um okay. So do you think that if I 
um, if I create the breakout rooms and I maybe place you with somebody that speaks better, right? Or that it speaks re really like um, fluently, do you think that that will work for you? Yeah. If I if I move you to a, uh, to probably with with a person that speaks um fluently, do you think that that will help you? Yes, it is. Okay, so yes, that's what I'm going because... to do. Okay, yes, uh -huh. I'm going yes, to move because... you with somebody that speaks. Uh, I would say fluent fluent English, right? So you you learn, uh huh? Yes. It's more, most helpful. Okay. When the other person speak more. Okay. So I think that we are going to work on that with you. Okay. So I'm going to be really careful with the person that I assign you to. So I'm going to try to probably uh, put you with somebody that I know that is going to help you to improve, right? Because if our goal is improving fluency, I need you to speak, right? With somebody that actually um, can speak and uh, can also help you out, right? To to improve your fluency. So that's what we are going to do, okay? That's what we are going to do. So now, thanks, Miss. Um, okay, very good. Now, Emerson, um, can you tell me what did you do yesterday? Tell me three things that you did yesterday. Well, yesterday, uh, the first things I do is uh, working early in the morning. Okay. I I going to I read in my work uh, at 6 a.m. Oh my, my day for a long time. <laughs> okay. It's for thousand. And the second one is uh, I read it. I read it a book. Okay. I time. read a book? You read a book? Yeah. Okay. See, I read it like okay. every okay. time in the last um, when I come back my home, when I came, I, when I came my home, I um, I am going to visit my my mom. Oh, I visited coming my home. Yeah, okay. I visited my mom. You visited visit your mom. Three things. Perfect. Yes. And what are you going to do tomorrow? Well, tomorrow. I will be having, I will have a meeting with my partners and my boss to present uh, the control plan for this month. Okay. So uh, you are going to work? Yes. Oh my. I, will, I, I have a meeting that okay. sometimes uh, and Saturdays I have the meeting for the establishment for establish here the, the goal of the week okay. oh got yeah. it yes. i'm okay. presenting the the uh, agenda uh, okay. following the next week yes okay that is good so you work from home or you need to go to the office uh, tomorrow i have i i going to to the office to work uh, in, on the site yes sometimes okay. i go i I really I do the meeting in at home sometimes. Oh, okay, all right. So you need to wake up early. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, around the six five a.m. I wake up. Yes. Okay. So, okay, <laughs> it's really tiring, right? But on Sunday you have a day off. See, si. yes, I, I free I day. Free time. Oh, you day. have free time. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. Okay, Emerson. Well, do you have any um any question about the platform? For be honest, I don't do it. Okay. Yet. Okay. I haven't done it yet. I haven't done it yet. Okay, all right. So um, just please try to um, complete the exercises during the weekend, okay, in your free time. 
so you can actually have that updated, okay? Yes, I promise do it tomorrow. Okay, perfect, Emerson. Okay, do you have any question before we go? No, at the moment, miss. Okay, Emerson. Well, in this case, um, congratulations because you are actually taking the second module of intermediate, okay? And that is good that you are continuing learning, right? So I think that that is something good. Do not lose the motivation, okay? Do not lose the motivation because, you know, as we uh, move to another module, you will see that, yes, the topics are kind of complex, right? But yes. if you study, if you participate, you are going to learn. So from now on, what we are going to do is what I actually mentioned before, that we are going to try to uh, put you with somebody um, that speaks more and that makes you speak more as well, okay? Okay, I appreciate it. All right. Very good, Emerson. So that's pretty much then what we are going to talk about right now. If you have any question, just let me know. But right now, if you don't have any question, Emerson, we are going to stop right here and I'll see you back on Monday, okay? Okay, miss. I see you on Monday. See you on Monday. Good night. Take good care. Good night. Okay, thank you. You as well.